In this video, I'm going to bring the works and the grace. Because news without grace and works is dead. Well, looky there. It is grace from space. I don't know if you know this. Thor news is for winners. And that's why you're here. So stick around. Hit the button, baby. Party dance time. Stay cool. This is a Thor news presentation. Ladies and gentlemen, my channel is called Thor News. And I'm bringing you the news. Now, if you can handle that, let's go. We are talking about the weather. Hurricanes. Because the weather is weird, man. How weird is the weather? You might ask. It is record-settingly weird. The Weather Channel. The 2015 hurricane season. Off to a record start. 11 storms in Central, Eastern, Pacific, Atlantic basins combined. That was published July 15th, 2015. And that just kicked off this party. And now, September 3rd, 2015, could set a new record for Category 4 and 5 hurricanes and typhoons. And remember, 5 is the tip-top damagiest of all the hurricanes. A possible catastrophe. So we need to keep our eye on this. And on top of all that, they call 2015 a Godzilla El Nino season. And if you'll notice, most of the hurricanes are coming from the main El Nino hotspot. At the moment, the majority of all the action has been in the Pacific Ocean. But storms have been rolling off Africa into the Atlantic, almost pre-made, regularly. They hit the ocean, they go for a while, and then they die. So I've been watching like a good watchman. And yes, the whole hurricane, tropical depression, tropical wave, storm thingy is all wacky. Is all wackola. Weird weather wackola. So I was just letting you know. Cause I'm cool like that. And Tropical Storm Ignacio, what the hell are you doing? You went like left, and then you went up, and now you're heading back towards Canada? Go home, Hurricane. You are drunk. So I'm just letting you know, there is something happening here. What it is, I'm not totally clear. Just be ready for anything, and be prepared. And prayers to all my brothers and sisters on the coasts, because these are strange days indeed. Stay cool. God bless everyone. We're on track for a record number of very strong hurricanes and typhoons so far in 2015. And all this stuff has been in the Pacific. I mean, so far in 2015, we've had 15 storms that have reached Category 4 or 5 status. Okay, so, yeah, that is quite a bit. What about the future, then? Uh, here's a uh, image of Africa. This is taken at 9 o'clock Eastern time this morning. Just want to point out we've got two very impressive features. One feature that will be coming off the coast of Africa here over the next day or two. And then there's another other impressive area of thunderstorms over over uh, through uh, through uh, Central Africa here, and uh, both of these features will probably become tropical waves. And it certainly looks that way. Almost every one that we've seen that looks this impressive has become a tropical wave. You can just barely see uh, Linda right here. Linda is a uh, tropical or is a hurricane here off the coast of Mexico. Storm surge, and very often with a landfalling hurricane, typhoon, or any kind of tropical system, storm surge is the most dangerous part of that system. I want to very, very simply explain it to you. Let's pretend that we've got a landfalling tropical system in a coastal area, right? It's basically you take the direction of the wind that's coming ashore, and it's basically like it's pushing the water up onto the shore. So I think the best way to understand this is if you live in coastal areas and you're in an area that's going to be affected by storm surge, you literally become part of the ocean. So there's nothing you can do about it, and that's why it's so dangerous. At times, the storm surge can be up to 30 feet. That's what we had in some spots during Hurricane Katrina, and that's unbelievable. Let's just visualize that, okay? So, I mean, take a one-story house, and there are a lot of these, right? I mean, that's usually about 10 feet tall. Imagine three times that high. That's why storm surge is so dangerous, and the best way to avoid it is to heed evacuations. 